Welcome to the Conspiracy Stream. <clears throat> I'm your host, Shane Wagner. Today we'll be talking about the Theosophical Society and their ties with Luciferism. Some questions that we're going to answer tonight. Who runs the Illuminati? Is there another step up? Who is Lucifer? Who is Maitreya? Did Aleister Crowley become the President of the United States? Were the people responsible for mad cow disease also responsible for the second outbreak of mad cow disease? Do the cows have anything to do with Satan? Are crop circles truly circles, or are they ovular? And of course, is God real? I do have the answer to that. I uh, did receive it the other day. Uh, we're going to be playing uh, a good game <coughs> today, Just Cause 2. Here it is, Square Enix. So, <clears throat> a little bit of a background here on uh, what the Theosophical Society is. Uh, the Theosophical Society is a an organization similar to the Illuminati, but they actually, let you know a little secret, they run the Illuminati. Um, <clears throat> so, they are believers of Luciferism. They believe that Adam and Eve were prisoners in Eden by God, and that uh, Lucifer is indeed God, and uh, that Lucifer gave humans the gift of knowledge, and he is, in fact, uh, a good guy. Well, he's not. Uh, he, they say that, uh, uh, you know, you can become God through Satan, which that doesn't even make any sense. So, uh, just some reminders, because we're going to be going over this later today. Uh, the Illuminati does run uh, the UN, okay? Uh, and a little company you might have heard of called Lucifer Books. So those are the two organizations that they're most affiliated with. UN and Lucifer Books. Uh, one's a little bigger than the other. Um, so, what Luciferism in this modern day is kind of uh, around. Uh, it's kind of uh, evolved around uh, waiting for the uh, Antichrist, or as they call it, their uh, their Messiah, or as the Buddhists might call it, Buddha. Uh, but the name of this is Maitreya. Now, you can tell uh, these dark powers, uh, you can tell that they're not good guys necessarily, because once you talk to one of these Satanists, uh, one of these Luciferists, you get like a, an eerie feeling in the pit of your stomach. You're feeling, you're feeling real bad, you know? Um, and uh, th what, of course, you know, the Illuminati wants to bring about uh, a new age, new world order, and they want to do that through Maitreya, through uh, <coughs> Luciferism. Uh, you know, uh, they're trying to discredit uh, Christianity uh, through, you know, uh, evolution. Evolution actually eliminates Adam and Eve from the whole equation, which Adam and Eve are very important pieces to the puzzle, and we'll get into that later. <clears throat> uh, the Smithsonian, I recently found out about this, I'm very upset, has started covering up giant bones. They're, they found giant bones in the, you know, desert, I think, uh, bones of real giants. Uh, the Smithsonian covered that up because they don't want us to know that humans were actually giants back in the day. Um, so, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to give a little call to, uh, uh, no, I apologize, I've forgotten his name, uh, Mr. Joe uh, Scunthorpe, 
Yeah, he actually uh, was an ex-Satanist priest. Uh, he was the high priest of Satanism. Okay, just uh, busy. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try calling him one more time. Uh, Real uh, 138, you're watching uh, the conspiracy stream uh, with me, Shane Wagner. I report conspiracies. Excuse me, is this uh, Joe Scunthorpe? Yeah, uh, hi. yeah, this is Joe. Uh, ex high Satanist priest? Yeah, uh, ex, of course. I'm not into that whole thing anymore. But uh, yeah, I mean, I was uh, I was pretty out there in my in my day in my high time. But uh, no, it's uh, it's just Joe now. Just Joe. All right, that's that's great. Um, well, you know. Uh, we're gonna kind of delve into the darker parts of your past, if that's all right with you. Well, you know, my therapist says that uh, if I'm ever going to live in the now, I have to accept that the past is real, and my mm -hmm. time is now, and you yeah. can't see me. So, let's go ahead and just dive into that. All right, all right. So, um, I'm talking a little bit about the Theosophical Society and Luth uh, Luciferism. Okay. Uh, what specifically? Um, I, the influence of the Theosophical Society's Luciferian teachings and their doctrine in modern day, their shaping of the whole society, trying to push out God and uh, bring in evil things such as evolution and uh, Satan. Uh, well, um... I can't say that I wasn't exposed to some of those ideas when I was a uh, high-ranking priest in the Satanic Society. Um, but, you know, it's not all God. Uh, you know, it, we're not all focused on God. You know, sometimes, sometimes we want to uh, do other things, or, well, I should say we as in you know the people I used to associate with yeah used to but uh, used to of course um I can't I can't really delve into it too much because as you know you uh you you have to sign a blood contract when you join up with the uh the church of satan I didn't know and that and that blood can uh be put into a gauntlet like device and uh, when they put that blood into that gauntlet, uh, they can actually see you and hear you, and they know what you're saying and doing. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if they were uh, not watching this stream right now. And uh, so if I, if, I, if, I, if I diverge too many secrets, like uh, what Lucifer really looks like or what his favorite book is, um, then they will find me, and they will rip my heart out and feed it to my children. Okay, okay. Well, I recently unearthed some information that I found interesting. Uh, confirm or deny at your leisure, or just, you know, plead the fifth. Uh, the Illuminati is run by the Theosophical Society and is a Satanist organization and actually runs the UN as well. I unearthed it. Well, it you me. see, uh, in, in you know, uh, props to you because that is some very deeply buried stuff you got. But uh, you know that is true, and the the Illuminati—they're not bad guys. You know, it's just they're really crazy, uh, absorbed in the in the plight of obtaining power. You know how that old story goes. Uh, a lot of them have been alive for thousands of thousands of years, mm -hmm. and you know, and they probably didn't have a, a father in their lives, so they're looking for some sort of. Um, object of masculinity and that's why they want this power so you're and saying so you're, you're, i'm sorry to interrupt you're saying these illuminati figures are almost like 15 year old scene girls that shop at hot topic that are very easy well they're not dissimilar okay. but i i don't want to i don't want to make any wild right. um, suggestions do any of the 
Illuminati, you know, anyone high up in the Illuminati, do they shop at Hot Topic? I, uh, see, that's, you're getting into the realm of stuff I just, I'm not allowed to diverge. But I think you know, I think you can conclude what that means by the fact that I cannot diverge that information, and that is all I will say on that one. All right, that's great. Um, yeah, uh, I've got a question from the chat. Uh, where, how, not where, I'm sorry, how are these high Illuminatists getting the ability to live for hundreds of thousands of years? Well, see, that's actually pretty simple. Uh, all it comes down to is uh, to smoke a lot of cigarettes, mm -hmm. uh, drink a lot, a lot of hard alcohol, um, basically just do everything that the mainstream media and society has told you not to do if you want to live a long and successful life. I mean, you hear these stories all the time of people, you know, these old people who live to be a hundred and a gazillion years old, and, uh, well, they smoke cigarettes every day of their life, and they ate r red meat, and, well, that's because those are the things that keep you alive. I mean... All right, let's, um... I want to move off the Illuminati a little bit. All right, go back to the devil. Uh, mm -hmm. So, um... <clears throat> I believe personally that the devil worshippers, the uh, Lucy, the Lucys, uh, are kind of testing the water, so to speak. They are, you know, getting out into the public more. They're being a little more accepted. They're using freedom of speech laws um, to their advantage, and they are kind of putting a foot in the door. Um, which I think is a bad thing because it's kind of growing uh, devil no, worshiping and spreading. Shane, mm -hmm. Shane, let me just uh, <laughs> what you just said. Uh, I'm not gonna blame you for thinking like you think because I mean that's all you have. But I thought, you know, when you contacted me and you said this is uh, this is going to be a very truthful on a show and I do my research, you know, I trusted you. And you've let me down a little bit, but let me just diverge once again uh, something to you that you probably shouldn't know and I probably shouldn't say, but uh, these, you know, these Lucy Lures that you're seeing in mainstream society, whatever, on the internet and the Tumblr and everything coming out and, you know, opening themselves up to the world a little more, those aren't real Satanists. Those aren't pieces of the Illuminati. They're... I suppose you could say they're pawns because what they're doing is they're letting these little guys who think they're hardcore, you know, devil worshippers, they're letting them out into society and letting society create an image and a stereotype for what, you know, Satanists and people connected to this hierarchy really are. Uh, when they see that these little, you know, Satan worshippers or the same kind of people who get to, uh, shit talking on Facebook and they go to Starbucks, well then they're gonna think, oh, devil worshipping's just a little fad for the kids. Well guess what, that's not what it is and it's gonna bite you in the rear end one of these days. But I don't want my kid to end up as a devil worshipper. You don't want your kid to end up as a devil worshipper? No. Well, all I can say on that But I don't have is, one, so it's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, if you ever have any little baby ones in the future, uh, all I can say is be there for them. Be a parent. Because, I mean, at the root of it, uh, devil worshippers, they're just looking for a father. And uh, <sighs> yeah. they find that in Lucifer. Yeah. And uh, yeah. that's how I, I became a father to these kids. And... Uh, I mean, they're rascals. They'll try to stab you in your sleep and, uh, you know, feed you poison on Sunday. But at the heart of it, I mean, they're just empty little souls trying to find a place to perch. So, uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, kind of one of the most famous uh, Lucy Lures uh, of his time and of all time, uh, Aleister Crowley. Uh, specifically? Uh, specifically his, uh, when he summoned a demon, okay, he okay. summoned a demon, uh, and if you are watching the stream, 
I am going to highlight this demon. I'm going to blow up the picture of it. I already ha I've had it on the stream this whole time. This is a picture of a demon that Alistair Crowley drew. What does that look like? It looks like a gray, a gray alien. Now, uh, one theory <clears throat> that I have heard and I made, so I heard it for myself, uh, is that the UFOs are actually interdimensional demonic entities, and the aliens, when they beam people up and they perform these operations, these probings, they're actually occult rituals for Lucifer. And uh, I've heard accounts of people saying Jesus Christ's name and being beamed back to Earth. Well... <clears throat> well, Shane, uh, you are, uh, you really got to step away, all right, because you're getting, you're getting too deep. Uh, I'm not going to deny I mean, that I have, that I'm not going to deny that I have, you know, been to outer space to perform some ceremonies and, you know, that. That's some of the stuff that I I I just try to forget, you know, because that's uh when you go it's Shane when you you ever heard the term that nobody can hear your your screams in space? Yeah, I have. Well, that that's that's because I was hearing them. That's because all them little well, screams were going into my ears. That's making sense. And they just, well, I mean, if if you're hearing the screams, then somebody can hear you scream. Well. Well, that's because I'm not a I'm I'm not a somebody in my eyes. I'm very self depreciating, and uh, it's something I've tried to work on. But God damn it, when you would you fucking tell me when you go to the ass end of Jupiter and you shove a piece of barbed wire the size of a goddamn mechanical pencil up somebody's asshole and sacrifice their colon in the name of Satan you when you do that you fucking tell me you fucking tell me that you can't be self depreciating you know what hey um Joe yeah uh do we need to take a quick break you know uh, I, 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 or are you good I'm, I'm alright I'm you're alright right. okay I'm, I'll be fine all right. Well, you just—I mean—you seem uh, in a bad way right now. Uh, it's sometimes it eats me. You know, sometimes, sometimes I got to think about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, but <laughs> you know, it's can we just move to the next topic? Mm -hmm. Uh, Obama. Well. Uh, you see, Obama. Obama's not the Antichrist. He ain't. I mean, he's he's like he's he's a he's devilishly handsome, but he ain't no Antichrist. No, he's a he's just a pawn like everybody okay. else, man. He's just now. Uh, I understand that the UN. I've never been there. Uh, I've never seen it in person. Uh, I've actually never heard of anybody who has, but I know for a fact it's there. There is a meditation room inside of the UN that has... Where you can contact Satan himself. No, 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 no. Another one. A, a more secret one. I know about the other one. I've been, oh, I've been no, to that one. Oh, no, not that one. The one with 11 chairs, 10 of the chairs for the 10 kings of the Antichrist, and one chair for Maitreya himself. What do you have to say about that? Well, uh, I've never been in that room. And in fact, nobody's ever well, been yeah, in that it's, room. Well, yeah, it's sealed until it's sealed until he comes. Until until the Antichrist himself, you know, comes. Yeah, uh, all, all over that the room. room will forever be sealed. But uh, I can tell you, I have stood next to the giant stone face that is the entrance to that room. And uh, I've smelt it. Whose giant stone face? Uh, just a giant face of stone. But whose face is it? Uh, that's not. I I can't say. Um. Uh, okay. Wait. Like. 
Okay, can we play a little game? Uh, I'll guess who the face belongs to, and you kind of just say if it's right or wrong. All right. John Travolta. No. Uh, Gandhi. No. Genghis Khan. No. Um. Uh, um. Okay, I'm gonna do one more. Are you ready? Yeah. Me. God damn it. Uh. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, we seem to have a problem. Uh, Joe has hung up. Um, all right. I mean, that was just a joke on my side. But he seemed to be. He does not seem like a joking man. Shit. Not my part of this. Okay. Um. Uh. Yikes. Well, I'm gonna take some calls uh, from viewers like you. So my phone lines are open. Uh. Shit. If you want to call in. Go ahead and call in. You know who you are. Um. I don't. I don't know what to say. I asked him if I, my face was on the uh, s face of stone. If it was my face, okay. It was a joke. I just said it, okay. I thought it'd be funny. I thought I'd get a little chick chuck chick chuckle out of the Satan man, but um, uh, apparently. He, that I was right. Um. Fuck. Okay, I I want to move on as well. I'm I'm feeling freaked out right now. I'm feeling sick to my stomach. I feel goddamn sick to my stomach, and I think it's from talking to that dark entity. You know what? I think he he claims to be a you know a former uh, Satanist priest. I don't believe that for a second. I think he's a current Satanist priest. Um, and I don't think there's any doubt in my mind of that. So I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, some more modern stuff happening. Uh, so I've, uh, Obamacare kind of has an RFID. If you get on Obamacare within like the first three days, you need to implant an RFID chip in your arm. That's true. Also, if you don't get the RFID chip planted in you, guess where they put the RFID chip? That's right, they put it in your license. The license, if you peel back a little part of it, um, reveals an RFID chip. I have disabled mine, uh, so I'm good. Um, fuck. Okay, so I've got a caller. I need to call. I call it. Call this caller back. All right. Uh, hello, uh, viewer. Uh, am I on? I know I am on the air. Yeah, that's why I said hello, viewer. Fuck. You right? Okay. Well, uh, looks like we're getting some prank callers. Uh, if you're pranking me, uh, I don't know. Don't do it. Cause I'm just trying to expose the truth. Okay. The truth must live. Even if that means I'm gonna die. But whatever. I'm just trying to live my life uh, one step at a time. And I don't know. I just, uh, you know, I'm a little shaken up over some comments said by Mr. Joe, uh, formerly Satan Man number one. Um, no, I didn't want to tell you guys, okay? But I feel like I must tell you. That wasn't, uh, that, not only was that a high priest of Satanism, that was the former, it's not the Pope, it, there's another name, it's a Latin name, I've forgotten it, but he is basically the Pope of Satanism, who was just on the air. 
Uh, so not a joking man. Yeah, I'm wearing tin foil. It's it's a it's a thought screen. Okay, with with the thought screen, you can't have your thoughts broadcasted, and broadcasted thoughts can't go into you. It's kind of it's just a filter, baby. It's just to kind of settle your thoughts and make sure that they can't listen. Uh, are there aliens? Yeah, of course there's aliens. There's aliens everywhere. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, this is fucking amateur asking me if there's aliens. Of course. That's what life's all about. Uh, life's all about aliens. Life's all about weird, demonic creatures that you don't know are there, but they could be there. <laughs> okay. Uh, now listen up. I've got some more radio, uh, some things to say. Uh, the RFID chips in your wallet, they are, uh, pulsating radio waves at all times. These radio waves are long. They're like, not ra like, they're just like, whoa. They're like billions of miles long. But they affect water, and guess what 90% of your body is made of? Go ahead and guess. This is like Dora the Explorer. I want you to talk to your uh, computer. It's water. Your body's made of 90% water. Uh, so they kind of control not your thoughts, but the way you feel, your emotions, okay? There isn't really a necessarily uh, way to control thoughts just from the waves. You need a more direct route to control people's thoughts. Um, and uh, the indirect way is the radio waves controlling your feelings. If, you know, say you're talking to, uh, I don't know, Jesus, and uh, I got a text message. Let me just read this. I replied. Sorry. And yes, I do have a phone. Uh, I know it's tracking me at all times, but you know what? Uh... The man has tried to catch me before, and uh, it's unsuccessful, so might as well put the odds in their favor, you know? Uh, you know, what was I saying? Okay, now a lot of you are probably thinking, how does this, this theory that I'm talking about right now, I'm talking a lot about a, a theology today, um, usually I'm more in the science route, uh... I'm talking about the uh, reptilians and the aliens and stuff, but here's the thing. I think that Satan is a physical beast. Maybe he doesn't live in this universe or this dimension. Maybe he doesn't even live on Earth, but I think the reptilians contacted him. They put him in charge of the humans. Okay, I'm getting another... Uh, Getting another phone call from a viewer. Uh, hello, viewer. Uh, hello. Um, I was just wondering if you've heard about uh, hydrogen dioxide. Uh, yes. It's in. You know, it, there were studies done. It was. It's in your home. They found it in every public school in America. Um. Okay. It's toxic. Um, I was wondering if you heard about it, if you had any thoughts on it. To uh, hydrogen. I was thinking. Hydrogen, hydrogen di dioxide. Uh, are you doing? Are you doing the thing where it's like dihydrogen, dihydrogen monoxide, which is just water? Because oh, you said yeah, it wrong. Because um, uh, hydrogen dioxide is HO2. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. What's up? Asshole. Yeah. Okay. Well, piece of, piece of shit. You call me a piece of shit. Yeah. Okay. Listen up. What's your name? What's your Obama. name? Okay, Obama. Okay, uh, where are you calling from? The White House. Are you really? Are you really? Uh, are you really Obama? Hello? He hung up. Okay. 
I don't know if that was Obama, but if it's not, that was a sick prank. Okay, I'm getting another telephone call. Okay. And it stopped ringing before I could even. Yugnot is Obama, is he? Let me, uh, let me, let me give a little call to this, uh, so-called Obama. This person. didn't pick up. So, guess I'm all alone again. Uh, so, you know, the reptilians, uh, I believe, did contact uh, Lucifer, uh, whether he be a man or a beast or some sort of other entity. Uh, Now we all know that billions of years ago, when the um, the good old reptilians came to town, they brought with them, you know, the bigger reptilians, the dinosaurs. They put the dinosaurs on Earth to kind of keep everyone away, make sure no one would come and bother Earth because they thought, "Wow, Earth is real badass." So. Uh, Uh, Zerakan uh, asking another fucking question. Another fucking question. Uh, my name, first of all, is not Dreamy. It's Shane. Uh, Dreamy is simply the the channel that I choose to share my knowledge with. The reptilians are not directly part of the Illuminati. Yes, there are some reptilians within the Illuminati. But the reptilians are more of a controlling master deity that has some spies in the world. Uh, you have probably met a reptilian. Uh, the Illuminati uh, is just the rep the Illuminati doesn't even know it's controlled by the reptilians uh, and the Theosophical Society. The Theosophical Society and the reptilians are controlling the Illuminati at all times. Okay, I'm getting another text message. Hope it's from Obama. No, it's not. It's just from this fucking guy. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, uh, my guest was not able to stay on for long. He was just, you know, a priest, a lot of time, with no time on his hands. I don't, he never told me what he was doing nowadays. He's definitely, he's gotta be Satanist. Gotta be. Okay. Okay, let's, uh, let me just check my notes. I have very extensive notes at all times. So, um, I want to talk a little bit about the lineage of the president and the ruling class, okay? So, I bet you know that uh, rulers are usually related. Not too hard to figure out. Uh, the royal family in England. And that's the only example I can think of. But what if I told you that every world leader is directly and irrefutably related? <laughs> Hello? Excuse me, am I, am I back? The prime ministers of this world? are all related. They are related to the Romans, the Roman rulers, Augustus, Julius, who are in turn related to the pharaohs. So 
all of our leaders are in fact pharaohs, god kings, still in this day and age, 20 and 14. And we're still ruled by god kings. Can you believe that? And what if I told you another thing? The giants I told you about earlier, the giants that inhabited the, earl the world at one time, giant human uh, pharaoh. That's all I gotta say. Uh, somebody typed in the uh, the chat, I heard the Prime Minister of Poland managed to slip through. Um, nope. Nope. He's a pharaoh. Sorry. Um, I just want to check something. Okay. Uh, you know, I think that we've had our ups, we've had our downs uh, on this stream. Uh, it's been uh, an interesting stream. I sure have learned a lot, and I think that uh, I learned... I didn't learn a lot about the world, but I learned a lot about myself. And if there is an Illuminati plot that directly involves me, being the Antichrist or being involved with the Antichrist, I will find out what it is. And if I must fulfill my role as the Antichrist, I'll be a damn good Antichrist. Well, that's all I need to say. Uh, the Conspiracy Stream <coughs> is on whenever I feel like broadcasting it. If you liked this, uh, check out some other Conspiracy Streams. Follow Dreamy Streamers. Uh, I love you. Uh, I, I can't say I love you all, uh, because I don't. Some of you I fucking hate. Can't fucking stand. Okay, you know who I'm talking about. I, f you fucking know who I'm talking about. You cannot. All right. Uh. Goodbye.